we are at Sharp Shopper and I'm going to show you what kind of deals I can find today. And we'll see what we can take home if we, <clears throat> I'm really sh shaky, I, you want to know why? Pumpkin cold brew coffee. I, I'm, I only do this whenever uh, cold brew cream, pumpkin cream is here. That's my absolute favorite. And uh, I do it a little bit too often. But tip, if you ever go through and spend the money on a coffee anywhere, also get ice water. At least equivalent. I usually get a venti, um, but you should at least get equivalent amount of water as coffee that you're going to be drinking. And it's free. So definitely ask for it. I usually get venti. I don't even know why I got a grande instead. I just kind of messed up and said that. So that is my energy for going in here to Sharp Shopper and seeing what we can find. We have no, we do have a grocery need. We actually do need um, old fashioned oats. They have them here as in big stock. I also get my wheat berries and popcorn here, but we are stocked up on all of that except old fashioned oats. So we will get a big container and we'll see what else we can find. They usually are pretty good about deals. So we tend to buy things like granola bars and snacky food here. Um, I don't really make a grocery list and plan what food I'm going to get from Sharp Shopper. That is just for my bulk grains I get from here and then snacks. That's all it is. I mean, we, we are a family of seven, so snacks don't are not something I buy very often. So that's what uh, Sharp Shopper is good for. But my husband loves Sharp Shopper, so he's actually going to be meeting me which makes me worry about how much we'll actually spend in here because he has no self-control when it comes to Sharp Shopper. So let's get in here and see what we can find. So Sharp Shopper is in Virginia and Pennsylvania. I think those are the only states that you can find that. They usually have their sales on little posters when you first walk in. Like, snacks that's what it is i mean these things are marked down i think um the way it works is when a store is uh, has an overabundance of things that are getting close to the sell by date they will sell them to to sharp shopper and sharp shopper will have them at a very deep discount for their customers so you can see some of the prices 9.99 for the zero sugar power aids cans are usually like a dollar 19 i think i show you here um yeah, dollar thirty nine for the corn. Just lots of. I I really don't ever come shopping for anything specific unless it's with bulk grains. They always have them here. Two nineteen for those butter beans, which I'm not really sure is a great deal. Seventy nine cents for pinto beans. I can all these things, but if not, this is a great place to pick them up. Uh, we do buy like if we're gonna have any kind of juices or. Um, there's, I don't feel like have any nutrition in them, so they are just junk food, tomato soup, Annie's, there was a bunch of meatball soup, Annie's things, uh, Muscle Men, two ninety nine for applesauce, I don't really buy applesauce, so I don't know if that's a great deal, um, noodles, now I do buy noodles here if I'm going to, 99 cents for a pound, uh, it's really not very much money, there are beans here too, yeah, 99 cents for macaroni, Beans were a pretty good price. Same as pretty much anywhere else. And those were the name brands. I don't really know how much that matters to anyone. <laughs> but pasta is something that is really good to stock up on when you visit a sharp shopper. And they have some varieties that you just don't see around very often. And this is the cereal aisle. A box of cereal for us would be one breakfast and I don't think we ended up getting any this time because um, you know, we just didn't, for one, we didn't need them at all, <laughs> but uh, we didn't pick any up. Um, but name brand things, I mean, you just kind of need to look at the sale by date. Mostly they are not even close. They're still within a month or two months. And with a family our size, we don't need to really worry about that because they will be gone in a flash as soon as they get put in the cart and taken home. And they do have like Redmond's um, Red Mill. 
but I'm not sure if that's a good price for any of these things here. Um, I don't usually buy any of that, but they do have the options. Now, this is what you get into good prices, $28.19 for 50 pounds of flour. I, I'm not sure exact type of flour that was, but this is where I buy my red wheat and the bean berries and where I buy my um, popcorn also and white wheat. This prairie gold is usually what I get. 50 pounds for $48.29. They were so much cheaper. Two years ago, it was not even $30 for 50 pounds. But we usually get the hard white wheat. We are out, or we're not out, not even close. So that was a really good price on salt too. $27.98, I think, for 50 pounds. That seemed like a good price. 50 pounds for the whole white, the wheat. That's already ground but here's cane sugar 50 pounds for 30 no 57 Whew. man good gravy things have just the prices have just gone berserk but you can obviously pause and and zoom in if there's anything you're really curious about they did have steel cut oats but they also have sales like yogurt. So I don't buy yogurt because I make yogurt. So I'm not going to spend it on something I'm going to throw away. Um, but they were like uh, lots of different varieties of yogurts. They are delicious things. Um, if you're not into making your own yogurt, that is like three, do three for a dollar or even four for a dollar. Kind bars, $2.99 for a box of 12 these things you could get at Costco or Walmart, and these are good too. They are actually delicious. Um, these things are double the price anywhere else, but I don't usually buy these for snacks, so I don't um, always plan on buying them, but if it's here, we'll get them for a treat. And they have things like roasted sunflower seeds and raisins, cranberries, things like that awesome deal any any of these prices are so much better than buying them at walmart or another store around us we usually we just have a walmart <laughs> uh food line kroger and martins and costco those are our main places that we have to shop so um sharp shoppers prices are always lower than those stores meats here Always a good deal on the meats. This was an awesome deal. I should have probably just got some. It was two for a dollar for these. Let me see. Yeah. Uh, deli meats. Um, but they were already frozen because they were close to the um, sale by date. Bologna. Uh, frozen veggie. Frozen fruit for uh, smoothies we usually pick up here sometimes. And things like that. A whole freaking cookie brownie thing for like $5.99 just amazing you never know and they have um options like beyond meat okay back at the house unloading our groceries i'll t show you what we got so this is called a haul i haven't done one of these before so this is all i bought from uh costco i didn't even show you i'm not filming in costco yet i wanted to try these um ranch flavored these are almond flour the Hilo life i tried the um uh, uh nacho flavor it's pretty good um I don't know if it's good, a good price. I know it's a good price there. I don't know if it's worth the price. I'm not sure. I picked these up when they are on coupon because my kids love these crepes. I do not know why. It's not a breakfast. This is a snack. <laughs> Tortillas. I always buy those there. They're very cheap. This is nice for um, simple roll-ups and stuff. And Costco's where we buy our coffee. So we got this this time. I have no idea if we'll like it, if it's good. It was on coupon and it made me think of winter wonderland stuff so we'll see the rest of it is sharp shopper so let me show you what we got sharp shopper 25 pounds of rolled oats for 27.69 it was used to be about 17 dollars but uh, we put this in five gallon buckets and this is what i make granola and oatmeal and you know all the oatmeal things all the oat things with that um blue corn chips 99 cents if you are Trim Healthy Mama, this is a, oops, wow, I didn't even know I could do that. Uh, 99 cents, for, oh, not $1.99, my bad, for blue corn chips. If you're Trim Healthy Mama, that's a, an E. You can actually have those chips on their plan. Um, these were $1.99 for Fat Bomb snack clusters. I've not tried these, but 
this kind is pretty good. So at Walmart, they're about $11 for a box, $1.99. And my husband likes this goat, this goat soap that we get there, $2.99 for two. That's not like a steal, but he really likes it, and that's the only place we can find it. Um, saltines, box four pack for $1.19. Got two of those. And liverwurst. That's what that is, right? Yeah. Liverwurst for eating with that. That's gross. And you probably won't like it, but we do. 99 cents for those. Snack for the kids, $1.99 for zero coolers. Marshmallows for hot chocolate. They were two for a dollar. Those are regular size bags. And then this is what I was probably the most excited for. These two packs, they're two pound uh, on each side, so it's a four pound bag for $5.99. Let me double check. Where did, the, where did the price go? Yeah, I think it was $5.99. $4.99, $5.99. Four ninety nine. $4 These used to be at Costco. Our Costco doesn't have them anymore. They were like $8.99, $10.99, something like that. Years ago when they were at our Costco, so this is an awesome price. These popcorn or sea salt, they're eight for a dollar, so I got uh, 16, two dollars worth. Uh, the kids got a snack because dad was with us. That's what they picked, something totally awful for them. And then my husband got $20 worth of these double salami sticks. They're delicious, but I don't know if I really wanted to get 20 bucks worth. We'll see, so that right here, about $140. So the only thing we needed was the oats and we needed a coffee absolutely needed that and the rest of it this was an awesome buy you can freeze these it even says to freeze by mm, let's see how much longer do we got on this freeze on before the date shown we've got plenty of time with these but even if not we can freeze them but if i put this in my fridge it'll be gone nobody will know who ate them but it'll be gone within a couple days my kids love pepperonis but we make pizza every week so we can use it for that so yeah, there we go. Do you think it's worth it? None of this is, like I said, what we need except for those two things over there. Everything else was just for fun. Okay, now I have to get this table put away before I go out and milk. And it's already six o'clock and pitch dark outside, so that'll be fun. But I'll talk to you next time. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. And God bless, I'll see you later, bye.